they're so fragile. They can be healthy one minute and then acting like they're dying the next minute. And then she's come a long way and she's just a sweetheart. Look who's showing off this morning. Wilma, are you impressed? Impressed? Fred sure trying. Look at that. <laughs> that is just so cool. So fascinating how this all works here. Trying to impress her with his beautiful feathers. Look at that and he shakes him. Can you hear that? That's pretty amazing. What do you think, Wilma? Are you impressed? Do you think he's a pretty boy? Looking pretty dapper this morning, isn't he? <laughs> so fun. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful morning on the farm. It's awful muddy, but we're grateful for the rain. The moisture's gonna make some nice pasture grass here in another month or so. So super excited about that. Also excited about the little girl I'm gonna spend some time with today. We've done some fun rescues through the years. Horses like Spur, Eho, Chief, Rawhide, and I'm forgetting many others but anyway we've been able to find homes really good homes for lots of horses and it's been such a privilege but I want to spend a little time with a horse that we got about four or five months probably five months ago now she looked so bad she'd been so <coughs> hey rooster she'd been so neglected and I think there had been some abuse. She was hard to catch. And <coughs> Rooster, it's so nice of you to contribute to these videos. <laughs> but anyway, she's looking better all the time. I cannot wait for the green grass to appear and for her to just slick off and show us really how far she's come. But let's go spend a little time with the horse we call Honey. Now, remember when I got her, the people I got her from called her a bad name. A name you shouldn't call any a name you shouldn't call any animal or person. Uh, some people call female dogs this name. That was her name, and I'm like, you're kidding. So she was skinny, they called her a bad name, and yet now we call her honey. And I'm just going to spend some time brushing on her, loving on her, and uh, go back and watch some of our other rescue videos. Maybe we can link a few here, but we sure appreciate all you do to help us out. And that brings me to something I'm really thankful for. You know what's almost better than Christmas? It's when some of you send us something from our Amazon wish list, and. Uh, Look at this, feels like Christmas. I got a, a halter, some dewormers, and some Himalayan rock salt. Anyway, cool stuff. Thank you so much. We can't thank you enough. Seriously, every time we get something from our Amazon wish list, it's just like Christmas all over again. So thank you, thank you. Well, thanks again, and I hope you enjoyed seeing that fun clip of Fred or Barney and Wilma. Anyway, it's that time of year, guys. Love is in the air. But anyway, as I come out here to catch honey real quick, I thought of something. One of our other famous rescues is a horse that we've called Pippi. Pippi Longstockings. 
but our friends at Arizona Scott's got her and they love on this horse. She is so sweet and healthy and happy now and she's about to have a baby of her own. So go over there and see what you think. They think she's probably three weeks away from delivery so go check them out. But what made me think of it was this. As I'm coming out to get honey, I saw this beautiful fat mare, yes, standing in some manure. Well, not manure, well, it looks like manure really bad. We had actually cleaned out the corral really good recently, but now with all the mud, it all looks like manure again, but we got a lot of rain. But this is Lex, and Lex is in full by my stallion, Gold 66. And so I am anxious to see when she starts creating some milk, but I th I'm thinking she's gonna have it hopefully right before Maureen goes home, which would be the first part of June. But let's go get honey. Good morning, how are you, Nugget? You're looking good. Enjoying that new Himalaya salt block. I don't think they realized that it's in there yet, but they will. And then we got Charlotte here. We got Blue Mickey and Diamond. And then we got Honey. So I'm gonna catch Honey, guys, but I need both hands. So let me grab her and let's go love on Honey for a little bit. She's eating all morning. She just was eating some more. So we'll grab her and give her a little TLC today. And again, let me show you a picture of when we picked her up, what she looked like. And then you'll get to see how she looks now. She's come a long way and she's just a sweetheart. Come on, let's go. I think the reason they called her the bad name was every time you got close to her, she'd pin her ears and kind of look like she's gonna come after you. But I realized it was just a survival mechanism. Just like a horse that um, goes after other horses that get close, that are trying to get their feed. Because she was lacking so much feed, she was afraid anytime you got close to her, you were trying to take something from her. So she would get super nervous. Well, now I can just walk up to her and catch her she doesn't pin her ears like she's gonna bite me or come after me she's just a sweetheart so honey I'm gonna give you a little pampering she is such a cute little girl and I think the plan right now would be to let her go to a new home and probably the end of June. And the reason I'm thinking that is I'm gonna have Gilbert hopefully come help me a little bit in June. And I'll have him ride her and get her ready for a new family. She is broke to ride, but she hasn't been ridden since we got her, since she needed to get some weight put on her and needed to get more healthy, but Anyway, there is a family in Farmington <coughs> that reached out and said they'd like her. That's followed our channel for a long time. So I'd like to give them first shot to get her. So we haven't even tried to find her a home because we want her healthy and happy and being ridden. But isn't she looking a lot better than she did? Well, it's not perfect, but I like to brush them this time of year to get the hair off a little at a time, because if not, then they have a lot of hair that's fallen out and 
it gets mud on it and it gets kind of knotted and gross but look at her guys she's looking so much better we love this girl and uh, hope you do too remember our last video she colicked and scared us but she's doing great now horses are just so weird in the fact that <coughs> sorry they uh they're so fragile they can be healthy one minute and then acting like they're dying the next minute and then they can all of a sudden bounce right back and be fine again but gas in horses <laughs> is not a good thing it can really 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 just put a hurt on them and when they're hurting they roll and they act miserable and so anyway guys tell me what you think what do you think about honey hair and which one of <laughs> which one of our rescue horses that you've watched through the years is your favorite let us know in the comments go watch one of those videos thanks for supporting our channel you you all are the best we love to rescue horses I used to try to do a lot at a time. And when Blake was here, I could do that. But I've gotta be a lot more picky about how I do things now, just without him being here. But he's doing awesome on his mission. Let me show you a few pictures. A lot of the pictures we get. <laughs> that rooster is so funny. Let me turn it around. So he just decided to plant himself on that bell of hay right there. But as I talk, he just keeps crowing. Let's see if he'll do it now that I have the camera pointed on him real quick. But anyway, <laughs> there it is, guys. A lot of the pictures that you'll see of Blake are him in casual clothes on his preparation day. As a missionary, you spend six of your days a week trying to spread the word of God and bring people to Christ. And then you get one day that's called a preparation day that is a day to do your laundry, call uh, family, and do some fun stuff with other missionaries. So a lot of the pictures you may see, he thinks to take pictures while he's out doing the fun things with his other missionary friends. He doesn't think to take as many pictures when he's teaching people the gospel of Jesus Christ. That'd be a little awkward to say, hey, real quick, while I'm teaching you about Jesus, can I take your picture? But anyway... So that's why a lot of the pictures you see, he's not in missionary attire, but he still has that missionary tag on that uh, bears the name of Jesus Christ. And so if you see missionaries wherever you live that look like Blake, invite him in and get, at least give him a glass of water or something and tell him you know a missionary that's serving in San Jose, California, that you watch his family's YouTube channel and you used to watch him. But anyway, guys, thanks so much. And honey, you're looking amazing. Have a great time, everybody. Thanks for coming along.